Hi everyone. So it is going to be a very laxadaisy video and just kind of a catch up to chat. I just got out of the shower not too long ago, brushed my hair. My hair, I don't know if it's just our well water, but it just gets knotted so easily now. I've never had such like knots in my hair before. Loretta is napping. Both kids are sick again. Um, and Don is in the tractor with dad doing some disking. He is sleeping as well. So sleeping with dad in the truck. But yeah, I just kind of want to come on here, give a little update. I know I kind of filmed a little pre video and it's not much to it, but sometimes when the kids are sick, I just, uh, I myself don't get much sleep, uh, getting up with them and I don't know, just, you know, trying to relax while I can. So I haven't really filmed much. I try to film as much as I can and then have a backlog so I can like publish stuff, but I kind of ate through my backlog because uh, kids were sick and I feel like we had a good week. And then this whole week again, we got they got sick again. So this one seems to be a bit more than the last one. Uh, Loretta, the first night, she didn't sleep very well. Like I think it was up with her every 30 minutes to an hour. Mm, for the first little bit, I think she may have got two hours of sleep to last bit, but I don't think so. I think I got up with her at 5.30 finally. And I, uh, because she's just so congested. So I got up with her and I would lay with her on my chest and when she fell asleep, I'd lay her back in her crib, but then she'd kind of wake up again because she's all snotty and, and then you have to wrestle, you know, with the snot, snot suckers and things. And so she slept good the last two nights still, like decent. She was sleeping pretty much for the whole night. She'd get up around midnight, sometimes not all, and sleep right through. And then Thanksgiving kind of, we're out late a few nights. So I think that kind of got her routine um, kind of mixed up because time we came home, sometimes she'd need a bottle to go back to bed. And then, and so that kind of ruined that. And then she got sick. So she's getting up maybe, I think yesterday, three times. John got up quite a bit because he has a cough now. So that was bothering him. Um, but their bulls are quite happy and, and drinking fluids and eating what they can. So take it, but so I just feel like I look like a, a bum. I don't know why my eyes look so dark behind my glasses, but it's just the lady. But yeah, that's kind of what we've been up to. Not really a whole heck of a lot. Uh, it's my birthday tomorrow and my sister's. So I have a, I have a twin. I don't know if I ever shared that, but I have a twin sister. So it's our birthday tomorrow, and we are doing a little paint night with my mom, my sister, and a friend of mine, and a few of my other friends just were busy with other things. A lot of life events happening for a lot of my friends, so I uh, totally understand and praying and, and hoping everything is going well with them. So we probably won't go to church, um, not because, um, just because the kids are sick. And I don't want to be the mom that takes other sick kids and make other kids sick because I know what it's like dealing with sick kids. And I don't want any other moms or dads or whomever to have to worry about that and just pass along the germs. Like it's just not fun, especially when kids don't sleep. So I would just rather not. So uh, we will miss it, but they do share it on YouTube. So we'll probably watch it live or just later. And We'll go for lunch and really want to check out some like Halloween costume for John. I want to get him a Woody or a Buzz costume just because I know he'll wear it in the house playing as well. So we want to do that. Like maybe we walk over to my mom's house across the yard on Halloween and let him get some candy and maybe take him to my sister's salon type of thing. So we might do something like that. We might not, but... Yeah, so I don't know, I might take you along tomorrow, more of a vlog style, I'm kind of hoping, we'll see. And I'm just kind of go from there. It's really cute. Sorry, I'm like word vomiting here. Things come up as I'm thinking about it, but Loretta sits in the cart next to John now, and it is just the cutest little, the cutest little thing. Like, it's just, she's getting to the age where just, I mean, it's always enjoyable. She is so, such a happy baby like I'm we are so blessed and I I pray every night and I pray that it stays 
that personality of hers. She is a bit feisty, don't get me wrong. That little redhead spiciness is coming out, especially when she has something and she doesn't want to give it up. <laughs> she gets mad. Or she sees something she really, really wants and she can't quite reach it. She gets pretty feisty. Uh, but she is generally so happy, always laughing and smiling. And she's just so precious. So it's just so cute to see them interacting more and uh, it just makes your heart softer you know anyways i am just gonna sit here and relax a little bit as those times come far and few far and few in between few and far in between you know what i'm saying so yeah and i'll see you in the next clip bye today i want to make some muffins and i thought i'd take you along seeing as the past few videos has just been um, hauls of groceries, shopping stuff, picking up stuff. So I thought I'd take you along with me today as we do a little bit of baking. I do need to go through my tomatoes. I have two little bins left. Um, not like full, just from two days of picking. And I think I waited too long and I think they are bad. There might be a couple salvageable dribble ones. So we'll go through that as well and see what we have left and maybe get something on the stove and see what we can do with that because I don't think there's enough left. And I might spaghetti squash in there. It's starting to get cold and they're very ripe and I have not put them in the basement yet into cold storage. So let's, we gotta check to make sure those are okay. Uh, I'm so bad at this. I need to prepare better. <laughs> don't I, Larita Benita? Yeah. Okay, but anyways, we are gonna make some banana bread or banana muffins. And we are gonna get ready. I will might probably speed through this later. So it's faster. And maybe we should put some music in the background. Um, or I might do the whole thing. Lucia doesn't take too long. I should have got all the ingredients ready, so that's probably what's gonna take longer. Anyways, enough blabbing. Let's get going. I did get some new bowls from Superstar actually. It's like a whole set. Some of them are missing. But I got these because they actually come with lids. And I hated not having bowls with lids. I'm gonna get my recipe out. Oh, this is so good. This recipe. I'll try, it's from Pinterest. I'll see if I can link it in the bottom below. It's banana um, coffee cake with like a juice of bread crumbing on top. So yummy, but I'm not gonna make that. We're gonna make muffins. Larissa Benita. So I have four bananas. Not overly ripe, but ripe enough. So we need mix banana and butter. So let's do the bananas first. Open these up. I'm so close to the camera. Let's see if I can push this back a bit even more. Oh, that's better. John is on the deck with grandma or outside. My mom is helping with the flower bed. And John's playing. Also doing laundry today. And I'm thinking about doing some painting in the house. And Tim's like, oh, you're actually kind of serious about this. <laughs> I don't know. I know it's a lot of work, but we shall see. Gonna mash up these bananas. Yep. Oh, I can hear drunk crying, I think. Never you mind your 
little hand getting in here. Yeah, you probably want some. I can get you some. Some in a bowl for you. You're like, what the heck? I like bananas. Hey, Benito. Yeah, yeah, banana. <laughs> oh, perfecto. I'm just gonna let this cool down a little bit. I'm also shaking it in the holy shape, but so we got that. Hi. We need wag. Oh Shizen. That 100% my fault, wasn't it, Loretta? Yes, it was. Should have known. Me? Mama should have known. Then we add egg, sugar, sugar, vanilla. So vanilla, we need one teaspoon. I bought because this is um, natural vanilla from Mexico, and it's very good because it's natural, but it's very strong. So I usually never add what the recipe tells me to because then it'd be way too much vanilla. So if I was measuring this, I'd maybe do a quarter. Maybe do a half a teaspoon. I just go in and I kind of just do a, like a little drop. Because I've been using this for so long, so I kind of know how much I should put. And then you need two thirds of a cup of sugar. So I'm gonna grab the sugar and the flour. It'll be less sugar, I guess. Gonna mix this till it's combined. Good. 
salt and baking soda. Pinch of salt, a teaspoon of baking soda. soda. Okay. Let's get this all combined, and then we need a cup and a half of flour. Yeah, I know you want that, you little cheeky thing, you. these from the dollar store that I picked up. So I think I'm going to use those since it's going to be Halloween. And I'm going to add some white chocolate chips just because I have some and I don't usually use white chocolate chips so I'll try to get those used up. Some slimy sweet. If you let the white chocolate chips melt a lot when you're baking with them, I felt like they did. They didn't like stay whole like the chocolate chips do. Like they kind of melted into the muffin. So if you seen that other video when I organized my pantry, I've been loving having everything in these. The only thing I would suggest, which I might find, because I I don't mind is at the lids. I've kind of been, as I've been using stuff with jars, like this, I had peaches, and I put salt in it. I use another one up, and I think I put my baking or icing sugar in it. So as I've been getting glass ones with lids from other um, things I've purchased, I've been switching them out for these because I can still use these for counting. So 
that's what I've been doing. It's nice just to have the one lid instead of like the little tab. But, and I didn't know, but anything with like a button lid like this, you can reseal when you can. So I saved some baby food once so I can, when I make applesauce, I can save like little, make little applesauces. Loretta is in the stage of life where when she wants something and she can't have it, she gets mad. Get it, girl. I get it. So I've been saving these because they both have button tops. So I was thinking about you can make homemade applesauce or even pizza sauce and put it in there for stuff. I want to do a batch and see because if it doesn't seal, I can at least put the applesauce in the fridge. Okay. That's ready. Let's give the red some more banana. What happened? Let's set the oven to 360. And we gotta be careful floor with the butter. My fault. I know. Totally my fault. This recipe, I did not write down how much it makes. So, I guess I'll find out. I think these are smaller tins too. I'm not too sure. If, yeah, because instead of six, it's a dozen on here. It's okay. I think I'll get two dozen out of this. Maybe one and a half. Benita. Get another six out of here. Okay, I'm gonna put these on the oven so she doesn't touch them and wait for the oven to beep and then I'll put them in. Get this tray ready. I got 12 and 4, I got 16. 
And then when these are ready to go in, I'll just fill the rest up with water. But I'm also gonna leave it here. And these go in the oven for about 18 to 20 minutes. I might do 15 because I think those are smaller tins. I think. I'm going to finish feeding the red of this. And then I am. Um, going to probably give her a bottle, change her bum, and put her down for a nappy poo. So I'll see you in the next clip, and I'll show you what they look like after they're done.